Five horrific human parasites. The hookworm. These things get inside you from drinking contaminated water or eating dirty fruit and vegetables. It's known as the hookworm because once inside its host, it uses tiny hooks on its mouth to hook onto the intestinal wall and slowly start siphoning blood. The thing is, it's quite hard to tell if you're infected with hookworm. Most people notice no symptoms, but others get ill from anemia or a protein deficiency. The creepy thing is, effects can vary depending on how many worms the host is carrying. A larvae load of 500 is not considered that much and symptoms will be mild. Yep, 500 is not considered a big load. A hookworm infection is rarely fatal, and the good news is, is that these can easily be treated and removed through a course of drugs. The bot fly is a wide term for any fly that likes to lay its eggs on mammals. These eggs, aided by the warmth of the mammal, then hatch and start their journey burrowing through the host's skin. Once nestled comfortably inside the skin, they will then stay and feed for around four to six weeks. After this time, they pop out, fall to the floor and fly away. If you notice a bot fly living in you, you have two options. One, you can be its warm home and meal for the next six weeks and wait for it to leave, or you can get it removed. To remove a bot fly, you would need a doctor to carefully pull it out, but trying to do this yourself is a pretty bad idea, because if you burst the maggot, that could lead to a very nasty infection. The Guinea Worm This parasitic worm can be contracted by drinking untreated water in poor rural areas. Once inside the body, the larvae will dig into the stomach and intestinal wall, and finally get all cozy in the body tissue. This little monster will then develop into an adult and start making its way towards the surface of the skin. After around a year, a blister forms and bursts. Then the worm will release millions of larvae, which sounds like the stuff nightmares are made of. Whilst guinea worm isn't fatal, it is extremely painful, and people can get infections and blood poisoning. The only way to remove this is to wait for it to bop its head out of your skin, and then spend days or weeks slowly winding it out with a stick. Why days or weeks? Why not just pull it straight out? Well, these things can grow up to one meter long, and if you snap it, you may have missed your only chance to get it out. Chigo fleas, aka jiggers. These nasty critters are fleas that like to live in dusty places in subtropical climates. These parasitic insects like to piggyback on livestock, where they are transferred to humans and then into places such as homes and schools. The jigger digs its way through the skin and lays its eggs. This can cause immense pain for the host, and it can even be so painful the host has trouble walking. These things are truly nasty. They can cause gangrene, infections, tetanus, and in some cases they can prove fatal. To remove a jigger, you have to pull them out or cut them out with tweezers, which is easier said than done because they are only around one millimeter in length. The Lower Lower Worm. This terror is also known as the eye worm and it can be found mainly in India and Africa. The Lower Lower enters the body usually from a bite of a fly, where it will then explore the body totally undetected. It can grow up to 20 millimeters to 34 millimeters in length, and they look harmless enough, but they can cause disease and even death. The host can go years without even knowing the lower lower is inside them, until one day they would feel something odd in the eyeball, look in the mirror, and see this looking back at them. To get rid of this, a drug has to be taken to kill the larvae in the bloodstream. To remove it from the eye, well, that requires surgery. And that brings five horrific human parasites to an end. I jolly well hope you liked it, and as always, 